Ever wonder how your body knows when to attack harmful cells? Like, um, it's like your immune system needs a secret handshake to launch a full-on defense. That's where immunotherapy comes in. And today we're diving deep into CD28, a molecule that's essentially the VIP backstage pass for your body's best cancer fighters. Yeah. We're dissecting an article from Assay Genie, the research tool gurus, to understand how CD28 could be the key to unlocking some seriously powerful cancer treatments. What's fascinating about CD28 is that it acts like a volume knob for our T-cells, those crucial soldier cells of the immune system, you see. When a T-cell spots a threat, say a tumor cell, it doesn't just go all in right away, it needs confirmation. A second signal to make sure it's not mistaking a friendly cell for a foe. That's where CD28 steps in. It picks up these confirming signals from other immune cells and kicks the T-cell response into overdrive. We're talking faster multiplication, stronger attack signals, those are called cytokines, by the way, yeah. and even prolonged survival, making them far more effective tumor fighters. So instead of just sending in a few tired troops, CD28 helps rally a whole battalion of superpowered T-cells. Precisely. It's about amplifying their effectiveness, ensuring they've got the stamina and coordination to really tackle the problem. This green light process is formally known as co-stimulation. And CD28, as a key player, is absolutely essential for a strong immune response. In fact, research from Lensho, June, and Salomon really highlighted how critical CD28 is to T-cell activation. This is where things get really interesting, because now scientists are developing anti-CD28 antibodies. These antibodies are designed to directly activate CD28. It's almost like giving those T-cells a shortcut to the green light signal. Exactly. It's a fascinating area of research. The article specifically mentions one called 37.51, which has shown real promise in early studies for boosting that T-cell response, even when a tumor tries to suppress those signals. That's incredible. Are scientists looking at using anti-CD28 antibodies alongside other cancer treatments? I'm thinking of things like checkpoint inhibitors which help release the brakes on the immune system. Absolutely. Pioneering work from researchers like Hody, Sharp, and Freeman suggests that combining approaches like this could dramatically increase the chances of shrinking tumors and improving survival rates. It's about creating a multi-pronged attack, like using different military units, infantry, air support, special forces, each with its own strengths, working together for a more impactful strike. In medicine, we call these synergistic effects. So we're not just fighting on one front, we're hitting the tumor from all sides. You mentioned Terrar T-cell therapy earlier, where a patient's own T-cells are modified to hunt down cancer. How would combining that with anti-CD28 antibodies amplify the effects? Um, that's a great question. You see, CAR T-cell therapy can be incredibly effective, but sometimes those engineered T-cells have trouble surviving long enough in the body to completely eliminate the tumor. That's where those co-stimulatory signals, the ones that CD28 helps amplify, become so crucial. It's like sending in those highly trained spatial forces, but then also ensuring they have the support and resources to stay in the fight. Exactly. Early research suggests that adding anti-CD28 therapy to Kagar T-cell therapy could provide that extra support, enhancing the persistence and ultimately the tumor killing power of those engineered T-cells. So instead of just aiming for a quick win, we're talking about building long-term immunity against cancer. That feels like a whole new approach to treatment. It really is. It's about empowering the body's own defenses to fight cancer in a more targeted and hopefully lasting way. And that's what makes this research so exciting. It's definitely exciting. But this is all still in the early stages, right? We need those clinical trials to understand how this works in practice, not just in the lab. Absolutely. Those trials are ongoing and are investigating not just the effectiveness, but critically the safety of these combination therapies. It's about finding that sweet spot, the right dosage, the right combination to achieve the best possible outcome for patients. And that's what makes research like this so important the potential to transform how we treat some of the most challenging cancers, to offer hope where there might not have been any before. Precisely. Imagine a future where our immune systems, supercharged with this deeper understanding of molecules like CD28, could effectively combat even the most challenging diseases. Now that's the thought. So to sum it up, it seems like research on CD28 and these anti-CD28 antibodies could be revolutionary for cancer treatment, especially in those difficult cases where traditional therapies fall short. That's the hope. While I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed win just yet, we need more data from those clinical trials. The early findings are certainly promising. We're talking about potentially giving new hope to patients who might have limited options today. It feels like we're on the cusp of a new era in medicine, learning to harness the body's own power to heal in ways we could only dream of before.
It's an amazing time to be working in this field. And if this deep dive into CD28 has shown us anything, it's that there's always more to discover, more ways to potentially help the immune system fight disease. And that's something worth getting excited about. Absolutely. As we wrap up our deep dive today, I'm left wondering, if we can fine tune these signals, boost our immune system's ability to distinguish friend from foe with this level of precision, what other doors could that open? Could we one day personalize immunotherapy, tailoring treatments to each person's unique immune system? It's a question worth pondering. Now that is a truly provocative thought, and one that researchers are actively exploring. It speaks to the incredible potential of this field, and the possibilities seem endless. Imagine a future where our immune systems, supercharged with this deeper understanding of molecules like CD28, could effectively combat even the most challenging diseases. On that inspiring note, we'll leave you to ponder those possibilities. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the fascinating world of CD28 and immunotherapy. Until next time. It's like we're cracking the code of the immune system, learning its language, and figuring out how to give it that extra edge in the fight against disease. And what's remarkable is that we're not just talking about eliminating cancer cells, but potentially training the immune system to remember and target them in the future, preventing relapses. It's like giving your body the blueprints to build its own personalized defense system. Exactly. This research on CD28 and these targeted therapies represents a fundamental shift in how we approach cancer treatment. It's not just about attacking the disease, but about empowering the body to heal itself in a smarter, more precise way. It's an incredibly hopeful thought. And it leaves me with one final question for you. If fine-tuning these immune signals holds so much promise for treating cancer, what other diseases could we potentially target using these same principles? That's a question that has researchers incredibly excited. Imagine applying this knowledge to autoimmune diseases, where the immune system mistakenly attacks the body's own cells, or even to chronic infections that have traditionally been difficult to treat. It's like we've just scratched the surface of what's possible. Unlocking the power of CD28 in these immunotherapy approaches could be the key to tackling some of the biggest health challenges we face today. And for anyone listening who wants to dive deeper, I encourage you to look into the work of Dr. James Allison, a pioneer in immunotherapy who won the Nobel Prize for his groundbreaking research in this area. His story is a testament to the power of scientific curiosity and the incredible potential of harnessing the immune system to fight disease. That's a fantastic suggestion. Dr. Allison's story is truly inspiring. Well, on that note of scientific discovery and the hope it brings, we'll wrap up this deep dive into the fascinating world of CD28 and immunotherapy. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep asking those big questions.